We are currently going through a brief but expected loss of signal, or LOS, as the communication system changes satellites. SpaceX Freedom for Dragon Hatch is closed. SpaceX copy is Ford Hatch closed. And we just heard confirmation that the Dragon Hatch is closed. And Dragon SpaceX uh, on the big loop. That's for Dragon. Dragon, uh, we have configured for hatch closed. Um, you are go for your crew actions in the hatch closed event detail and to continue suit donning per 4.010. Copy PPRVI, so valve is confirmed open. Hatch closure was confirmed. And SpaceX copies. And uh, Dragon for awareness, we're still working through our C2V2 configuration. Uh, we'll let you know when that's done so we can actually perform the big loop comp checks and then Dragon to ground comp checks. Hatch closure was confirmed at 6.25 a.m. Central, 7.25 a.m. Eastern. The depressurization process of the vestibule will begin to take place shortly. The vestibule is the area between the hatch on the Dragon spacecraft and the APAS hatch of the International Space Station. This entire depressed process takes about an hour. Following depressurization, there will be a final go-no-go no -go poll approximately 10 minutes before the undocking command is scheduled to be sent. This is a point where the joint NASA and SpaceX teams can make their final call for Dragon to depart station and head home. Once teams are go for Dragon's departure, an undock command will be sent for the undocking sequence to actually begin. This sequence is entirely autonomous and takes about five minutes to complete. The undock command is currently scheduled for 8.15 a.m. Central, 9.15 a.m. Eastern, and the first step in this sequence is for the umbilicals to retract. These umbilicals connect Dragon system to the space station, transferring power, telemetry, and commands between the two vehicles throughout Dragon's stay. Once that's complete, Dragon will unlatch itself from the space station by releasing 12 hooks and two sets of six, and after that, Dragon will begin to push itself away from station by executing two short Dragon firings called undocked burns. Physical separation of the vehicle from space station is currently planned for 8.20 a.m. Central, 9.20 a.m. Eastern. Following this physical separation, there will then be a series of departure burns to increase the speed that Dragon is moving and also help push it away further away from the space station and send it on its way home. 
Splashdown is currently expected to take place at 7.30 a.m. Central, 8.30 a.m. Eastern on Friday, February 9th off the coast of Daytona, Florida. For those of you who are just joining us, the Axiom Mission 3 crew is safely and securely inside the Dragon v Freedom vehicle awaiting their departure from the space station. For the Axiom 3 crew, it's been a busy two weeks aboard the space station, packed with research and outreach activities. And during their stay, they were accompanied by the Expedition 70 crew, which will remain on board following Axiom 3's departure later today. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft for the Axiom Mission 3 crew launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on January 18th and then docked to the International Space Station on January 20th. They've spent about 18 days in space and are about to make their way home. We are currently live in the Inter International Space Station Flight Control Room in Mission Control Houston at NASA's Johnson Space Center. The NASA team here is responsible for the safety of the crew on board the space station as well as the station itself. Our flight director here in the room today is Judd Freelane. Freelane was part of the 2013 class of flight directors. As was in the P Apollo era, the flight director has the utmost responsibility and authority of operations at the moment. Next to our flight director is the CAPCOM or Capsule Communicator, William Vu, Vu. The CAPCOM serves as the voice link between teams on the ground and the station crew.
Again, we are in a brief but expected LOS or loss of signal. We should be gaining views back of the space station in about a minute. LOSs occur when the Tracking and Data Relay Satellite System, or TDRS, has a handover between satellites. SpaceX Freedom, we're ready to close the Dragon Hatch. Copy, MLA, stand by, Zach. Okay, Dragon, we were just confirming a few things. You are go to proceed with hatch closure per uh, the cue card. Work. And we just heard a call up to crew that they are go to close the Dragon hatch in between Dragon's hatch and the space station hatch, which is called the A-pass hatch, is what is this is a view Freedom, from the... Stand by for big loop audio config. This is a view from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's module camera, which is a camera aboard the International Space Station. There are multiple ports on board station for visiting vehicles to dock to. Five spacecrafts are currently docked to the space station, including the Dragon Endurance and Freedom, which you see on your screen now, as well as the Soyuz MS-24 and the Progress 85 and 86 spacecraft. On the forward port of the Harmony module is Dragon Freedom, which has carried Crew 4, Axiom Mission 2, and now the Axiom Mission 3 crew to space and is heading back home today. The other Dragon is docked to the Harmony Zenith port, which is Dragon Endurance and has carried NASA's SpaceX Crew 7 to the station and docked on August 27, 2023. NASA's commercial crew program has enabled the United States. SpaceX copies, and uh, stand by for big loop audio, and then we can do that big loop ch com check. Probably about five minutes. NASA's commercial crew program has enabled the United States to once again launch astronauts from American soil and is bolstering a commercial space industry where the agency will become just one of many customers. Again, the hatch on the Dragon Freedom spacecraft closed this morning at 6.25 a.m. Central, 7.25 a.m. Eastern. And we will be back on air at 8 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Eastern for live coverage of the undocking and departure of the Axiom Mission 3 crew, which is the third private astronaut crew to the International Space Station. In between now and then, the uh, 
Vestibule will begin a depressurization process to take it down to vacuum and prepare for departure of the Dragon Freedom vehicle. We are still looking good for an undocking at 8.20 a.m. Central, 9.20 a.m. Eastern for the Axia Mission 3 crew, which launched to the International Space Station on January 18th. Following their two-week stay, they are currently preparing to depart the International Space Station and just completed the hatch closure procedures and are continuing to don their suits and prepare for an undocking later today. We will take a break in our coverage for now while they go through the depressurization process of the vestibule, and we will be back on air at 8 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Eastern. Until then, this is Mission Control Houston.